after you have your equipment together and you found the right ultrasound machine for you and the right probe, you want to make sure that you actually position the machine in such a way that your procedure will be as easy as possible. So for our purposes for these videos, we're going to be using this little model um, as our, our target surface. And we have to make a decision about where we want to actually place our ultrasound machine. One of the things to consider is that oftentimes when you set the, mas the machine to the side like we have it here, as you're working on a surface here, you have to move your head over to the machine in order to see what's going on on the screen. Now, this may not always be such a big deal, but oftentimes it can be disorienting. You, you may start to find that your hands over here may start to do something differently when you tilt your head over to the side. And <clears throat> you may find yourself cranking your head back and forth over and over again um, in such a way that really doesn't feel very natural and can be a bit disruptive during the procedure. So you may want to consider moving the machine over to the front of your work surface. Now the advantage with something like this is that as you're working here, you can just glance up and look at the screen in front of you. All the orientation remains the same and you don't have to crank your head to either side and also you don't have the machine in your workspace. It's across from you and it's not going to be getting in the way. Something to add on to this, not only is it nice to have the machine in front of you like this and you want to be mindful of where the machine is, but you also want to keep in mind where your probe is going to be and where the cord of the probe is going to be as well too. So we can see that we're going to be using this flat um, linear probe here. It has a lot of cord that will fall down. This cord has weight. It may not seem like such a big deal, but if you're trying to hold your ultrasound probe and the weight of the cord is dragging you down, this over time can become a nuisance. So sometimes it's advantageous to decide how much cord you actually need for your surface uh, for the work surface that you're working on and kind of orient things in a way where the whole weight of the cord is not getting in your way. So you can see we just kind of have looped the cord like this um, just so we don't have to keep fighting against gravity. It seems like a small thing but properly positioning the machine and uh, the cord for the probe can make a big difference especially for longer procedures.